What's up everyone, it's Timon from Planting Plants and yet today it's time for a new video and in this video I'm going to do something with Lekusa Pond again, I mean what else, I mean my channel literally is almost a Lekusa Pond channel because most of my videos are about this substrate and today I'm going to plant seeds in three different substrates First, I'm going to use the Lake Pan substrate for with sowing some seeds. I will use some sphagnum moss to sow some seeds. And obviously, I will also use a soil mixture to sow some seeds. The seeds that I'm sowing today are from Het Urban House, which is a Dutch website which provides lots of pretty nice seeds from all kinds of plants. So I will put the link to her website in the description below um, she sent me three nice packages full of beautiful seeds if you want to join me on this nice planting sowing seed journey <laughs> stay tuned I absolutely love how she has done this with her website because she has sent me three of these very cute packages and all these packages they have a QR code which you can scan so you can see how you should sow the seeds and this is really a tongue breaker how you should sow the seeds <laughs> but well okay I'm gonna show you which seeds she said <laughs> which which seeds she sent me <laughs> she sent me a package full of monstera that is shows us seeds she sent me a package full of mimosa pudica seeds and these seeds they are from the plant that is when you touch it it closes the leaves i have actually sowed these seeds before in the past but the, back then i had so many plants that eventually i just let it die because it was just too much work to keep all those plants alive and then also a very nice plant which I've never sowed from seed but Strelitzia Nicolai, the birch of paradise. Um, I feel that there are multiple seeds in each bag so I think I'm just gonna uh, sow them equally in the three different substrates. So Lekusapan, I, I don't know, not sure if this works, <laughs> Lekusapan, Spagnomas and a soil mixture. I think it's just time that we're, we're going to start. So here you can see the different substrates that I prepared. I have a soil mixture, a sphagnum mixture and the Lekusa Pan mixture. I distributed the seeds like this. These are going in the Lekusa, uh, I mean in the soil. So two times Strelitzia, one Monstera and one Mimosa Pudica. These are going in moss. So it is two times the Strelitzia seed, two times these uh, Mimosa Pudica and one time the Monstera Deliciosa and these are going inside the Lega. So two times the Monstera Deliciosa and one time the Strelitzia and one time the Mimosa Pudica. So without further ado, let's start potting this up. So first I'm gonna pot up the seeds from the in the soil mixture. So I'm gonna put them right there. I try to make the um, like the depth of the seeds equally amongst the different substrates. So there you go, the Monstera seed right there. And then the Mimosa Pudica seed on top of here. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of soil. As you can see, it's not only soil, there is soil and there is uh, some wood or bark and some um, perlite as well. So this is done. So let's continue to the next one, which is the moss. So I'm gonna put them just on top of here. With moss, it is very important that you do not push too hard because the spectrum moss is very airy. But when you push really hard, um, it gets a little bit of like there's no air inside it anymore. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Then I'm gonna put moist spectrum moss on top of that. As you see, I'm not pushing too hard. I'm just pushing it in a little bit. I try to make sure that there are not big pieces of spectrum. So that's it. 
maybe a little bit on the side here as well. Then I'm putting it a little bit down like this, but not too much because otherwise the roots will get, or the seeds will get, start to rot. And then on to the last one, which is the Le Cousapan. Um, I'm just gonna put them on top, like this, the Stelitia, two times the Mimosa Pudica. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of Lecusa on top. As you see, my Lecusa also contains Leca, and that's because I sometimes use Leca uh, at, in the bottom or at the bottom because otherwise the Lecusa pan will fall out. But there is now a mix of Leca and Lecusa in my uh, stash, so that's why there's also Leca in my Lecusa pan. But that's no problem because it doesn't really matter. So here they are from left to right, a soy mixture, a spagna mixture and on the far right there is a lecuzapan mixture. I'm very curious to see which seeds will grow the fastest and yeah, very curious to see. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put them in this little greenhouse, so the lecuzapan. A very important thing, I'm going to make sure that the lecuzapan is in constant contact with water, so I'm just going to put water right in this and I'm just gonna make sure that the sphagnum moss and the soil mixture will not be in constant contact with the water otherwise the substrates will stay too wet but for the since pan since, since it is a very airy substrate it should be in constant contact with water especially when you want to make sure that the Lecusa pan stays moist at all times which you really want when you gonna, are gonna grow from seeds um, but these I'm just going to put a little bit higher inside this little greenhouse because otherwise the seeds might rot away. <clears throat> What's happening with my voice? Okay, so I'm just going to put them right now in here and I'm just going to use the top of it and then it should look something like this. So there they are. I'm very curious to see which one will grow first. Please let me comment on how much which one you think will grow first or the fastest. Uh, I personally never ever grown um, plants from seeds in Le Cousapan. I did in other substrates but never in Le Cousapan. So very curious to see if it actually works. I think it should work but still it's always interesting to see if it actually does. That was it already for today. Thank you at Urban House for sending me these nice seeds. I'm very curious to see how they will develop and how beautiful they will grow or how big they will get. But that is something for in the future. Definitely stay tuned because I will update on this little project in the future once there is some progress. So subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the bell to turn on notification so you will get a notification every time I post something. Uh, thank you again and I hope to see you again very soon.